In the serene embrace of a secluded Zen garden, cradled between ancient cherry blossom trees and meticulously groomed gravel pathways, Sensei Hiroshi, a seasoned Zen master, engaged in profound meditation. His robes fluttered softly in the caressing breeze, awaiting the arrival of his eager disciple, Kaito. Today's lesson would delve into a timeless topic resonating within the human spirit, how to discern the subtle signs of envy. Approaching the garden with palpable anticipation, Kaido respectfully bowed upon entering the sacred space. The air was imbued with the delicate fragrance of blossoms, and the gentle murmur of water from a bamboo fountain set a serene stage for the impending wisdom. Sensei, Kaido humbly began, I yearn to comprehend the manifestations of envy and how one can perceive its presence in others. Sensei Hiroshi opened his eyes, revealing the profound wisdom etched within. Envy is a potent emotion, dear Kaido, often lingering in the shadows of the human heart. Let us explore this through the nuanced choreography of nature and the teachings of Zen. Inviting Kaido to join him on a stone bench beneath a blossoming cherry tree, the master gestured gracefully. Soft petals descended like a gentle rain as Sensei Hiroshi began to narrate his tale. In a nearby village, two brothers, Takashi and Akio, artisans of unparalleled skill, resided. Takashi sculpted intricate wooden masterpieces, while Akio painted breathtaking landscapes. Their artistry flourished, enriching the village. One day, a wandering traveler, secretly consumed by envy, sought to sow discord between the brothers. In the guise of an admirer, he approached Takashi, stating, your sculptures are sublime, but your brother's paintings captivate the soul in a way your carvings never could. Takashi, a man of serene wisdom, smiled and replied, each brushstroke and chisel strike carries the essence of its creator. My brother's art and mind dance together, creating a symphony that enriches our village. Unsatisfied, the traveler turned to Akio, whispering, your brother may pretend to appreciate your work, but it is clear that he believes his sculptures surpass your paintings. Akio, grounded in Zen teachings, merely nodded and said, My brother and I are like the seasons, distinct yet inseparable. Each piece we create adds a unique color to the canvas of our shared existence. Sensei Hiroshi paused, allowing the wisdom of the parable to settle. Envy, Kaido, often disguises itself in the cloak of admiration. The envious see a reflection of their desires in others' accomplishments. Yet, those who understand the interconnectedness of all things recognize that true greatness lies in collaboration, not competition. Kaido absorbed the lesson, contemplating the profound truth within the tale. The master continued, to discern envy, one must look beyond words and actions. Envy thrives on comparison and competition. When praise feels more like a veiled critique, when others seek to diminish your light, that is when envy may be present. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow on the Zen garden, Sensei Hiroshi and Kaido sat in silent reflection. The cherry blossoms whispered ancient truths, and the gravel paths bore witness to the shared journey of master and disciple. In life's garden, Sensei Hiroshi concluded, cultivate awareness, compassion, and gratitude. These are the tools unveiling the subtle tendrils of envy, allowing you to respond with the wisdom of a tranquil heart. With a final bow, Kaido expressed gratitude for the timeless teachings. Leaving the Zen garden, the moon ascended, casting a gentle radiance upon the cherry blossoms, a reminder that even in the stillness of the night, the wisdom of Zen continued to bloom. In life, by observing the behavior that a person has towards us, we can understand if they have genuine feelings or if they are envious. We need to surround ourselves with individuals who love us and not with those who are just around us. Thank you for your attention.